Welcome to sportsbookreview.com, your home of the college bowls. We're off to Santa Clara. Potential Super Bowl winners hosting the Red Box Bowl with California Golden Bears taking on the Illinois fighting Alinei. Big boss, you're from the West. Are these boys going to get it done? Giving up six and a half. Hey, <clears throat> California knows how to party. It's basically a home game for this uh, Cal Berkeley team. Not too far to get over to Palo Alto for the uh, brand new stadium in this one. So they should have the stadium packed and feel good about themselves. And what do they do best? They play defense best. They're they're holding teams down on the ground, and uh, they're pretty decent in the air as well. Now this Illinois team coming in, um, they they like to run the ball a lot as well, and they can't even pass that well anyway. So uh, the line is set low for a reason in this one. I think I'm gonna go on a, a total side um, opposed to the side in the game because. Um, both teams pride themselves on defense, and we watched this California team. You know, they, they had to do trick plays and some more stuff to get some points on the board. And so I'm, I don't like the side as much as I like the total. I'm liking the under in this one. You like the under? 43 and a half. I mean, listen, when we talk about NFL, we look around the 37, 38, and on principle alone, you must go over. I mean, 43 and a half, I look at across and I'm just saying that five dimes is sitting there at 43 and a half. Go to sportsbookreview.com forward slash five dimes, press that button, get your 43 and a half, and you can go under if you're with Big Boss, or you can go over if you're with the host. Ragu, under or over? 43 and a half. How about neither? Wow, about we're going to go bang on. Um, I'm, I'm more about the side in this game. My, my rule of thumb is when I'm looking at college totals, anything that's in the, the mid, the low mid to mid 40s, I'm off of that on the total, especially with overtime in college football. But And this game might set up for an overtime because you got two defensive-minded teams here. Um, I give the nod to uh, Cal here. Uh, quarterback uh, Chase Garber, he was hurt earlier in the season. They missed a game of four, uh, four games where they took a four-game skid. He's kind of found his zone a little bit here. You know, he's got some quality wins to close out the season. I think he's going to be the difference in the game, the Cal, the Cal quarterback. Uh, Cal, like DJ says, you know, they play defense and they play it very well. And their magic number is like 300 yards. If they get 300 yards, they win the game. And uh, Illinois, uh, their big spot came earlier when they had that major upset over Wisconsin when Wisconsin was uh, undefeated. But they're not a team that stretches the field real well, and they do a lot of things mediocre style here. So I think Cal brings their A game on defense, and Garver has a good game, and I'm going to take uh, Cal minus the points. So you're a man from the West, big boss. Are you going to listen to the man from the East? Because he's cheering on your side. Hey, you know, this is the boss in the sauce. We, we don't we don't got no West Coast, East Coast rival or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of times, Big Ragu does really good in the uh, West games. And he said this year, since uh, we've been doing the shows and stuff, he's ventured over into a lot more Pac-12 and Mountain West game. And the guy does well on the West. So I can't do the West Coast, East Coast thing or nothing like that. But I do lean Cal in this one as well. Um, you, you know, if it, if the total does go over, it's only going to be because uh, Cal really came with the uh, speed on the offensive side that Illinois may not be used to. And uh, this Cal team, they do struggle in their own conference because, you know, these players played against each other and stuff like that. But these wide receivers over here at the Cal, they got that West Coast speed. You know, the secondary, they got that West Coast speed. And they're playing this uh, Illinois team that's coming over here with a different style of football. And uh, it could be shocking. It could be like the shock factor on top of the crowd and all that stuff. I lean heavy on California on the side. But I like the under just because uh, uh, Illinois' offense is not well. So if Cal has their way with them, we might be looking at like a uh, – 28-7 type game or something like that, you know, 28-10 maybe, something like that. But, um, yeah, I hope I, – I'll sit and wait on the line. I hope it goes up a little bit because, you know, towards the end, it's going to be a lot of over games and college football games. People going to come in and start betting that over, going to take it up some more, and I'm going to slide in under. Maybe i get it at 45. Yeah, well, patience will definitely pay because, obviously, this have been two solid lines that six and a half giving up there for the Golden Bears. I think you may even get six closer to the time. 
43 and a half at the moment, open 42, so they are slipping it over. I've got to go over just on the principle alone that there's going to be points and it's going to be a party atmosphere. But I wouldn't go against your Golden Bears, the 7 and 5. I expect them to be victorious. It's near enough a home game for them. OK, boys, I'm certainly, certainly going to take uh, the knowledge of the West and the Rigu from the East, the, the Golden Bears are going to get this one done. But remember to go over to Five Dimes and have a good look. Make sure you join us because we're going to Miami. And we're going to go with the Orange Bowl. So we'll see you soon.